Well, tonight could truly be called the night of the woman for the Republican Party. The First Lady, Marilyn Quayle, and Labor Secretary Lynn Martin will all address the convention. Secretary Martin will, in fact, nominate George Bush. Now, the GOP at this convention is taking great pride at what it calls giving women equal access to the reins of power. The president-elect will take the oath and be sworn in as the 43rd president of the United States. That second car, that new Cadillac limousine, the one holding the incoming and outgoing presidents of the United States, and that, that interesting sort of waltz that happens yeah. right up until this exchange of power. We want to check out uh, the situation on the mall. It only makes sense advanced technology is going to have an effect on how the game is played. The use of computers to bear here. This is going on now on the tour as well and that any number of, of uh, tour professionals have their swings on video in their laptops that they can refer to from time to time. Sure. We think nothing of dropping maybe 400 bucks for the latest uh, whatever it is club. But then when it comes to spending 25, 30, 50 bucks on a lesson, it's kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that or not. Uh, we're a little out of balance sometimes, I think. Yeah, well, you know, golf is an individual sport, and everybody kind of does it their own way to some degree, and they, and, they, and they hit the good shot occasionally, and they feel like, I, I've got it now. But generally what happens is that they make the same error every swing, and just sometimes they recover uh, differently from that error, and, and that leads to inconsistency. But that one or two good shots, uh, that a, a person will hit during a round or out of a couple of buckets of balls, may, well, if I can only go back and duplicate it. But the problem is, they don't really know what it is they're trying to duplicate. We are very excited to be right here for the U.S. Open at Congressional Country Club. It's a great honor, a golfing honor for our area altogether. It absolutely is, and, and as has been the case all throughout this week, thousands of folks are out here. This is just a practice round. Actual play doesn't begin until tomorrow uh, here at the 97th Open. We want to give you an idea of what is coming up ahead in this very special hour that we want to bring you uh, here from Congressional. First of all, we're going to meet Bill Topiser, who is the club president out here. He has the great honor of having the United States Open at what is his golf course. It's an honor, but there are also an awful lot of responsibilities that go along with that. He's going to explain how and why the club was chosen and why for the first time in the 88 years preceding here, they're going to finish this golf tournament on a par three. If this is your first visit to Congressional, we are just west of the Beltway at the River Road exit. This country club in all, along 36 holes of golf and the clubhouse and everything else, spans 343 acres. There are, as I said, 36 holes here, but we're going to be concentrating on what they call Old Blue around here, the Blue Course at Congressional. That was fun. 